What is going on guys? So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to add motion blur to your photos. show you how to take this photo and I'm going to show you guys how to turn it into this photo. So it's going to be quite a dramatic change. Uh, shooting this way in camera is going to give you that really nice base look and then once we add the motion blur in post it's going to give it that really really crazy uh, otherworldly kind of futuristic look. All right so we are on the computer screen. Right here I've got uh, my folder how to add motion blur to my photos and so we're going to open up Lightroom and while we're at it, I'm gonna open up Photoshop as well. All right, come over to library and we're gonna come to import. Boom, so I've got about 10 shots. I'm just gonna import them all. So as you guys can see from these photos that they're relatively blurry as is. Uh, and the reason for that is because I purposely shot these photos trying to get motion blur. So what I'm gonna be doing for the editing process today is pretty much accentuating and exaggerating the effect that I did in camera. So for these photos, I was roughly shooting at a shutter speed of about one over 20, one over 15, maybe they're slightly different, but that's around the range I was in. And what I did is every time a car would pass, typically one car, because I just wanted one car as the focal point, I would swipe my camera with the car and I would try to stay the same speed with the car and I had my focus on the middle of the road so I could get it in focus and it was a lot of failed attempts. These are like some of the good ones that I just imported but it's really really tough to get. Essentially what you're doing is you have that slow shutter speed 1 over 10, 1 over 15, 1 over 20 and you try to track the car and what happens is if you move the timing correctly with the car or whatever the subject may be, maybe it's a person running and you can get them pretty clear not gonna be crystal clear, but it's gonna be a very cool photo. And then what happens is since you're moving, the stationary background is gonna be completely blurred. It's gonna have lines. It's not gonna really be in focus and it creates this really cool effect. And today I'm gonna to show you guys kind of how to exaggerate that. Or I guess essentially you could do this without shooting like this in the field and you could just do what I'm going to show you. But let's just hop in. Show you guys the photos <laughs> as my first attempt. I'm just gonna scroll through these. And you can see there's lots of blurred lines and stuff. And as the cars come, that one's the best so far. You can see right here is pretty in focus. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, that one's pretty good. I do really like that one. Um, I like that one as well, but for some reason I like the green car and the yellow car. It kind of balances the scene. These are taken in Tokyo, Japan. So I think it looks better than the white car. This photo is already edited. This was one of my favorites and I've posted this. It's one of my most popular photos, I'd say. Uh, this is the raw image of that. So as you can see, there's a huge difference in what we're able to do in post. So that one's really cool too of the green car. That one's pretty in focus. A little blurry on the black one, blurry. So I have edited this one before. So why don't we go forward and edit this one? Because I don't think I've ever edited this. I'm gonna come over to develop and I'm just gonna run through this really quick. I'm gonna do a really quick Lightroom edit just for purposes of getting the colors where I want and the white balance where I want because um, this is not a tutorial on how I edit. All right, so I've got a nice base Lightroom edit on here. So now I'm going to right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. And now that the image is loaded up in Photoshop, I'm not gonna really go through kind of the workflow in Photoshop. I've got tons of videos on that. Or if you're curious on kind of workflow in Photoshop, let me know and I can make separate videos on that. But I'm just gonna kind of focus on the motion blur. So now that this photo is loaded up in Photoshop, I'm just gonna make a copy of my background layer, Command J, and then come up to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. All right, and so this is the effect that we are going for. So right now we can change the angle by typing it in or we can kind of just swirl around this little circle and that will change the way that you're adding motion blur. So I'm gonna put the pixels to zero, or sorry, to one real fast. So as you guys can see, my horizon is a little off-centered upward. So I wanna match that with my blur and I could have fixed that previously, but I didn't. Um, 
and then we can just toggle the preview on and off to maybe three on the motion blur. That might be too steep. So let's do two in the motion blur and the amount of blur is up to you. You know, this is one pixel, which is practically nothing all the way up to 2000 pixels, which is pretty crazy. Um, we can do something in between or we can try something pretty intense. I guess let's try some like a thousand pixels because I've never done one that much and that looks kind of cool. So click okay. And then what we're going to have to do is essentially mask out the car with a layer mask and a brush. And in doing that, you know, the car is gonna be, have the soft focus in it and it's gonna have a little bit of blur because of the way I shot it. But then all of this added motion blur in the background is just gonna make this photo look super, super crazy. So for this, I'm gonna add a layer mask. I'm going to grab my brush, 100% opacity. And first off, I'm gonna start with a soft brush. I'm gonna be switching between a soft edge brush and a hard edge brush. And I'm going, I'm on a white layer mask, so I need to use a black brush. And I'm making my brush size bigger with the bracket keys. Just kind of get the outline of the car. So that looks awesome. Uh, but obviously around the car, there's this weird halo of just kind of blurriness and doesn't look that good. So this is where I'm gonna come in with a hard edge brush. And I am going to now grab a white brush and essentially negate what I just did with a smaller brush. Cause I essentially just wanna brush back in the blur around the car. And for this part, you wanna be like relatively exact. You could always make a selection with the quick selection tool, but because the car is in a kind of a soft focus, it's gonna be really hard to get a clean selection. So just, you know, take a few minutes, kind of brush around this. And I'm just gonna getting a rough outline before I zoom in and get a smaller brush. But you know, again, I am quite zoomed in, so as long, as you're not printing this photo, like as long as you do a roughly a good job, like, and you're just posting this to Instagram or Facebook or something like that, like nobody's gonna notice um, or be able to tell the difference. But yeah, like if you were gonna print this, like you definitely wanna make this like perfect. All right, so with a super rough job, just brushing that around, and I honestly took like two minutes. Like, let's see the before and after. That is a huge, huge difference, and I think it makes it look super futuristic and super crazy. Like, I think it's super cool. Um, now I'm gonna just do one thing to kind of make the blend a little bit better, because when you zoom in, it definitely looks a little choppy. So I'm gonna take a 20% opacity brush on a soft round brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm essentially going to draw an outline of this and then I'm going to toggle between white and black and do that a few times because what that will do in the end is that that will blend kind of the layer mask that we have with what we've brushed in and what we have not touched with the brush and it'll just give it a little bit of a better blend with the motion blur effect we got going on. Especially down here, I noticed quite a bit. Let me see. Grab a 50% opacity brush for down here. You just don't want any harsh lines necessarily, but you don't want the car to kind of just be fading into nothing like right there. So you have to be just careful about like some of your blend strokes. That's too much. You need to go back down. So 
I'm switching between a white and black brush at the moment. Now, I mean, as you guys can see, that's a lot better of a blend job. Now I just, if I notice anything, I'll try to get a little bit better of a blend on it. But otherwise, I think I've gotten pretty much all of the harsh lines out. The big ones were on the bottom, because around the car I got pretty close. But that looks pretty awesome to me. So let's do before, after. Um, and again, you know, like I said, you guys can do this even if you didn't shoot with a slow shutter where you're tracking the subject. You could just kind of mask something out with a layer mask in the blur motion blur tool and just changing the direction of your photo. But, you know, it helps because the car having a bit of blur in it too, but not as much as the background definitely just kind of makes it look a lot more realistic, even though it is somewhat unrealistic because of what we just did in the background but i would definitely call this a finished photo and i'm super happy with how this came out so i'm going to end the tutorial here um, i hope you guys found this valuable and hopefully you learned something new but if you have any questions or anything drop them in the comments or if there's any tutorials you want me to do let me know uh, and i will see you guys in a future video thanks for watching